Alright, so placed all the smooth rods on and we're going to move on to the auto level trigger. One thing you want to keep in mind is you want to tighten these down pretty decent. You don't want any play in this universal ball, this little ball joint that you have here. Uh, you don't want any play in that. You want to make sure that it's snugged up tight. You also want to make sure that your Bowden hardware is flush and that it's as straight as possible vertical. So, um, on my auto level probe, I've gone ahead and attached my switch. I've got a different type of switch than most people will have. Um, the reason for this is I just ordered a kit and this kit came with all these switches so I had to find a way to make it work so I went ahead and put it on there. Your mileage is going to vary. Uh, like I said I'll let you know anytime I'm using a variant and I'm using a variant so you know you sh if, if you're using the uh, bill of materials from the Castle website this won't be a problem for you. Um, but some of the other things you're going to need are your Allen wrench, which is going to be your probe. You're going to need one or maybe two ballpoint springs. Uh, just take a ballpoint and rip it apart like I did and pull out the ballpoints. You're also going to need one of these Euro terminal, terminal plugs. And a lot of times these come with this plastic on them and I actually like to take that off. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we're going to go ahead and start.